successes and less than successes this week. Stand by. Hey everybody, I'm James. Welcome back to Rattle Can Fab Shop and what I did this week in school on Tuesday in welding and metal joining class. We ventured into new territory, at least new territory for me. Uh, we are welding, uh, uh, we're, we're making a weldment, 3 8 inch plate, and we are doing this groove weld. And uh, it has a 35 degree angle on each one of these plates. How do you make a precise 35 degree angle on a plate? We have three bridge ports set up to do nothing but make 35 degree bevels in our class. It's the darndest thing I've ever seen. So you mount your piece in the vise vertically, shave it off. You're trying to get a what we call a land, uh, which is where that square part of the uh, weld is there at the bottom. That's supposed to be 3 seconds of an inch. And then uh, we tack weld that piece together, and then we stand it up vertically like this. And then we're welding in what we call a downhill configuration, which means we start at the top of the plate and then we weld down. It is a four pass weld. You do uh, a root pass, which connects those two pieces together. And then you do two fill passes, and then you do a cap. I may have done a couple of these in uh, my very first welding course, and that was three years ago, and haven't done it since. So it's all new material. It's all it's all a new experience for me. So that's why uh, this first fill pass looks like uh, poop, and you know it'll get better. And you know we'll do I don't know we'll do a number of these uh, once this weld is completed. Uh, we will put a bevel on each side of that, and then we will weld um, uh, new plates to that, so that we can get you know as much you know as much out of a piece of metal uh, as we can. That was Tuesday morning, Tuesday evening. Uh, we are back into um, uh, back into machining, and this is a I guess you know, they call it uh, advanced machine lab. Uh, basically, you're given a print, and part of the process is uh, you have to come up with your your own plan of attack on how you're going to do this. So um, I try to do this as much not in the lab as I can uh, to maximize the amount of time that I um, I have available on that machine. So you know, you sit down at the kitchen table and you try to think through. You think through the problem because this is what they've given you. They give you a chunk of raw material and they give you a plan and you have to figure out how to get from, you know, point A to point Z. And that's, you know, part of that is is the learning. You have to figure out your, your order of operations. And and right now I'm working, um, I'm working on planning how to um, drill these holes because there's a, there's a bunch of holes on here that have to be... Um, you know, placed precisely, drilled, um, counterboard, and and all tapped. So um, once we get into the lab, I have now taken my big square piece of metal and I have now um, cut these little steps into it. And we just use a big bandsaw, a big horizontal bandsaw, uh, to do that with. And it's it, there's this strange dichotomy where you work really hard to getting um, you know, to getting this piece, you know, precise, and then you go over and just with a big saw, you just kind of caveman carve out uh, these chunks to it. So, what what I need to do now is uh, we're going to be using this this one inch uh, face mill, and we are going to flatten those two steps, and that is how we get that piece to our final depth. Again, the the you know, it's not terribly precise on the dimensions. I mean, we've got 20 thou tolerance on it, um, but you want to get it, uh, you know, as close as you can. So uh, Wednesday, Wednesday's the fun day. Wednesday, uh, first of all, we have math class in the afternoon where we're doing circles. 
and we are now doing uh, secants and tangents and chords and the like, which is funny because when I took geometry, Ronald Reagan was in office. And uh, we weren't doing extremely hard geometry. Uh, we were doing things like, what is this shape? I, I, don't, I don't remember math class being, well, I mean, it was hard because I didn't do really good in it. Um, but we weren't doing anything like we're doing now. So a lot of the people in my class, they are just reviewing this, whereas uh, I have the... I don't know, I guess you'd call it a disadvantage of I'm trying to learn this and we are like going at the speed of stink. The good news is um, I've got a great instructor um, who if you don't understand it, uh, I mean, there are times where he will look at me and he will say, Mr. O'Rear, should we go over that again? I'm like, yes, please. And then he will kind of hit it from a different angle until, you know, the, you know, my five watt light bulb comes on over my head. And then I've got people around me that I can that I can reach out to, and they're the same way. They will just look at stuff and go, mm, "This is. Did you think about it like this? No, I didn't think about it like that." So sometimes you just have to come at it, pardon the pun, from a different tangent um, until you understand what's going on there. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> chunky. Wednesday evening, I've got uh, intro to mechanical drafting and CAD, and um, it's just a lot of nomenclature to go over. I, I didn't realize how many different kinds of lines there are in, in a mechanical drawing. Uh, not overwhelming. It's just there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff to know. Um, uh, I did learn a valuable lesson, and that is to be sure to bring uh, the correct notebook that has your homework in it, because I grabbed the wrong one, so I didn't have any of my notes, I didn't have any of my drawings, I didn't have any of my homework, so I'm going to have to turn that in um, turn that in late, and I'll take a ding on it. <laughs> that's just kind of the way it goes. Um, you know, that's, that's how you learn, by screwing stuff up. And then, uh, you know... Uh, then completed uh, some of my homework. Now, Thursday night, we are back in, uh, back in the lab, and we are back uh, attempting to make our, um, our little steps flat. That is supposed to be an inch and ten thousandths on the bottom, uh, ten to twenty thousandths. Uh, the step up is supposed to be two inches, and uh, 10 or 20 thousandths. And then once I got that to size, then we're cutting a relief notch so that you can put a square item on this uh, angle plate. And that 90 degree corner uh, has relief in the back so that you can push it in and it'll sit flat uh, against that. And then Friday morning is open lab where you can go in and do what you need to do. So this is a uh, a piece of 4140 that I have secured from um, uh, metal supermarkets. They were able to hunt me down uh, a piece of uh, in its annealed state, so it'd be a little bit easier to work. And so I am at the same time I'm doing my angle plate uh, in 1018, which has been supplied to me um, by the course. I am also in my free time making one out of 4140 because I everyone tells me it's different but I don't know that so the experience of that um, it'll be worth the cost of that if you're curious that parts like 95 bucks for that chunk of metal yeah. and now that is full-blown retail you know if you have a metal supplier you could get it for cheaper um, if you know if you've got a buddy that just happens to have a large chunk of four inch square bar 4140 in its annealed state you could get it for cheaper than that I, I don't have friends like that um, if you'd like to be my friend and help me source stuff like that for not full-blown retail uh, that'd be cool too but so that's the week in school um, if you've got questions or comments let me know if you have resources on um, how to um, on
on, you know, basically circles and tangents and intercepts and all that kind of crazy stuff, you know, plane geometry for dummies. Uh, put that in the comments down below. Anyways, I'm James. This is Ralph Han Fab Shop. This is what we did this week at school, and I will talk at you uh, in seven days. Cheers. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to spend it here with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Here's one that you might enjoy as well. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that button. Hit the bell next to it so that you get a notification when we drop a new video. If you've got comments, put them down beneath the sermon notes. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. You guys have a great weekend. Cheers.